Hey there, first years. A lot of you guys have been coming up to us second years for advice. Stop it, we're trying to study for the boards. All right, seriously, here's a video to help out. If you were to go back in time and talk to yourself, what would you do differently in the beginning of second year? I think the biggest thing I would do is just take a step back and take a deep breath and realize it's not gonna be as bad as everyone says it's gonna be. Like I could see the boards looming and I was kind of freaking out a little bit and I think I would have told myself like there's still plenty of time, like I don't need to panic right now. I just need to you know, focus on getting through school and learning the material well and that will kind of like lay the foundation for later on. Definitely the most important thing was don't freak out. I know some people, you know, they, if they want to match in something really competitive, they want to get a really great score, so they start very early, and I find that that's sort of a double-edged sword because, you know, you could be um, cheating yourself out of, like, learning well in the courses, which could help you later on. So do you have any, like, quick tips to give um, these incoming first years, or these new second years? When you're focused and studying, you need to be 100% on. And that way, you can actually take your breaks and relax on your off periods. What do you do to be 100% on when you want to study? So there's this really great program for Max called Self Control. Basically, it turns off my internet for a block of time. And I cannot do, I literally cannot do anything on the internet. Turn and off your internet? Yeah, so I need to do this in, in order to get anything done. To be honest, first year <laughs> is a blur. I don't remember. <laughs> we had anatomy for five months. It happened in like seven seconds. You shouldn't take first year for granted because it lays such a good foundation for second year, so I guess that was my mistake for just kind of like being like, yeah, med school, let's just get through this. <laughs> <laughs> Try everything and then find out what works for you because I found that the number one thing that stresses me or anybody else out is like finding out that somebody else is doing something that you're not, you're all like, should I be doing that? Why am I not doing that? And then like, you know, you end up figuring out that the reason you weren't doing that is because, you know, it's not right for your learning style. What do you do to de-stress? Do you get stressed? I'm a pretty happy person, but everyone gets stressed. Of course. It's like uh, once every other month I have like a mini meltdown, I like to call them, where I'm like, I'm never gonna catch up. Everyone knows everything and I don't know anything. <laughs> but then I'm fine. Uh-huh, because just like that. It, yes, because sometimes it just you just need that moment where you're like rock bottom <laughs> and then you work your way back up from there. So something I like to call uh, digitalis uh, overdose, where you can't fully contract, you can't relax. I mean, I've been there probably a dozen times throughout each year. Um, is there any time you ever feel like you just get burnt out? Get burnt out? Like you're just, you're just All done. the time. Like first year, uh, I think right after anatomy, I was so burnt out that like, I, I would go to the mandatory stuff, but for the most part I would wake up and then like, just, I just watched all five seasons of The Wire in, in a week and a half, which is kind of embarrassing because it's a lot of episodes <laughs> and they each an hour long, but I would just turn on the next one after, one after another, one after another. Yeah, after that happened, I was like, wow, this is really unhealthy. Yeah. I was a lot more cognizant about my stress levels after that. I uh, signed up for the Taekwondo club oh, at really? the school here. Yeah, and it's really fun. It really gets me going and it helps me to sort of channel my, stress. I guess, my stress. <laughs> on the punching bag, of course. Uh -huh. Yeah, not on, on me. Not on people. <laughs> my roommate, Xiao, she's been super great. She like, when I go crazy, she just, we just, we dance. She taught me, yeah, she taught me a, like, a, like a routine and stuff. And so that was like a nice stress relief. And then when she goes crazy, then, you know, I feed her junk food or something. Hey, maybe we can get like a short clip of us dancing this, this, this stress, de-stressing. Uh, the, no, I don't think you, no, I think it's a little more. You can teach me and I'll do it right now. I, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> so to do this dance, you um, sway your hips to the right. Okay, like this. So one, two, three, four. Stand up. There you go. Work it from, from the top. top. Right? Okay, right. so. One, two, three, four. Back. Okay. Perfect. Don't forget the circle. Oh yeah. Yeah. Ooh, I feel great. You feel great? I feel great. So these panic moments, tell me more about these <laughs> panic moments. I'm not good enough. I'm not smart enough. I'm never going to know all of it. What do you tell yourself to counteract those, those, um, those feelings? For I'm not good enough, you call your parents who always are going to say you're the best. If not your parents, a sibling, a significant other, whoever, you just call them and they tell you that you're amazing. And, you know, it's like ego boosting, but you almost need that. 
Uh, for I'm not smart enough, you go to your study peers and you say, I'm not smart enough, and then they like metaphorically slap you in the face and say, <laughs> you've done fine, you're going to be OK. I also think what was really crucial was um, talking to third and fourth years who've done it already, particularly ones who I think might think in the same way that I do about approaching courses. For someone uh, who's like going to become a second year and hasn't sort of made, it, made a network of, with the upperclassmen, how would you suggest um, making those connections? Even if you don't think you know a third or fourth year well enough, like in general people are really happy, like the third and fourth years, they've been through it and they know how difficult it can be to be a second year. So they're really happy to talk to you if you approach anyone like, and say like, hey, would it be okay if I emailed you with a few questions? Like almost anyone would say yes and you can sort of sort through the advice yourself. But I think um, people are happy to help you. They can ask me if they want. So there you have it, second year survival tips. Hope it helps.